Advancements in artificial intelligence are terrifying. Too scary that they keep me awake at night. In this video, I will show you five terrifying AI experiments and advancements that would blow your mind away. So without further ado, let's start with the first advancement. AI has developed a movie script. Have you ever imagined that you could watch a movie that is entirely written by AI? Take a look at this script. And let's watch a clip from the movie called Sun Spring. In a future with mass unemployment, young people are forced to sell blood. It's something I can do. <laughs> you should see the boy and shut up. I was the one who was going to be a hundred years old. Well, I saw him again. The way you were sent to me, that was a big, honest idea. Pretty amazing, right? Note that the AI does not know a word of English. You will notice that the entire movie did not make much sense. However, each sentence on its own makes a lot of sense. The movie was written by a type of artificial neural networks known as Long Short Term Memory or LSTM Recurrent Neural Networks. The LSTM network was trained with a series of sci-fi screenplays from movies from the 1980s and 90s such as Stargate and Star Trek. LSTM networks are type of recurrent neural networks that are designed to take temporal dimension into consideration by having a memory effect or internal state. A recurrent neural network contains a temporal loop in which a hidden layer not only gives an output, but it feeds itself as well. Recurrent neural networks can recall what happened in the previous timestamp, so it works great with sequence of texts. Obviously, we still have a long way to go with AI, but imagine what type of scripts AI could write in the next 20 years or so. Have you ever imagined that AI could create human faces that have never existed on Earth before? Take a look at these faces. These people have never walked the Earth before. Look how realistic these faces are. These images have been generated using a type of artificial neural networks known as GANs or Generative Adversarial Networks. GANs are formed of two competing networks known as the generator and the discriminator. GANs work by having a generator network, or what we call it a counterfeiter, who's being trained to create fake dollars that are indistinguishable from real ones, which is the ones that have generated by the bank. The discriminator network, or the police in this case, is being trained to determine if the money is real or fake. The counterfeiter is trying to fool the police by pretending that he generated a real dollar bill. But the discriminator on the other side will detect the fake money and provide feedback to the generator on why does he think that the money is fake. Over time, the generator will become expert at generating new money that you cannot distinguish from real ones. And the discriminator will fail to tell the difference. These types of networks could be used to generate images that have never existed before, which is pretty incredible. Check out my other video on Generative Adversarial Network to learn more about GANs. Researchers at DeepMind have developed a simple 2D apple gathering game. The idea is to train agents in the game to collect apples and try to maximize cumulative reward using deep reinforcement learning. Reinforcement algorithms learn by trial and error through reward and penalty. The algorithm consists of two elements, environment and learning agent. The environment rewards the agent for correct actions. Based on the reward or penalty, agent improves its environment knowledge to make better decisions in the future. Think of it like a kid trying to learn his or her environment. If the kid touches a candle, for example, they will be penalized, so they know in the future they were never going to do that again. If the kid touches a toy, for example, they will get rewarded and start doing this over and over again to maximize the overall reward. Here are the rules of the game. When an agent collects an apple, he will be rewarded by one, and the apple will disappear from the game. One of the options that agents could do is to direct a beam at the competitions and simply get rid of them. When the beam hits any agent twice, 
This agent is killed and disappears from the game completely. After the simulation is ran for 40 million times, researchers found that agents have learned to be extremely aggressive when the resources are scarce or limited. So when there are abundance of resources, or apples in this case, less aggressive policies are taken by the agents. In other words, agents tend to peacefully coexist and collect as many apples as they can. When the number of apples are low, Asians tend to be aggressive and destroy the competition. Here is the quote from the paper. Less aggressive policies emerged from learning in relatively abundant environments with less possibility for costly actions. The greed motivation reflects the temptation to take out a rival and collect all the apples oneself. Unfortunately, the ugly side and selfish instincts in humans are also apparent in AI as well. What if AI power is concentrated in a handful of people? What would humans do with this aggressive nature? Have you ever thought that AI could dream, hallucinate, much like humans? Look at these pictures that have been totally generated by AI. In this video, we will talk about an amazing AI that could literally dream and hallucinate just like humans. This algorithm is known as Deep Dream. D-Dream is a computer vision algorithm created by Alexander Mordvin Sev from Google. The algorithm works by creating dream-like effects. It's like giving humans an extremely powerful drug. Remember when you were a child, looking at the clouds and trying to interpret shapes, asking yourself if this is a horse, a dog, a cat, and so on. D-Dream algorithm does the exact same thing, just like humans. D-Dream algorithm works by giving an AI an image and simply try to boost the patterns that it sees in the input image based on what it has been trained to see in the past. So if the artificial neural network, for example, has been trained to see animal faces like dogs in the past, it will try to show dogs' faces everywhere in the input image as well. Take a look at this video showing a journey inside a TV. Check out this video if you are interested to learn more about Deidre. Facebook AI researchers announced that they had to shut down an AI that has officially created their own language. Facebook designed two chatbots that has started to communicate to each other. The objective was to train artificial agents to negotiate with each other using chat messages in plain English language. The artificial agents learned quite fast using trial and error. The technique used in this research is known as reinforcement learning, which is simply trains agents to try to maximize cumulative reward. What's scary about this is that if AI could do this, we are at a turning point where we can find AI making their own decisions, creating their own language, and becoming out of control. Imagine that one day Alexa and Siri could create a language that humans are not capable of understanding. How scary is that? If you want to experiment with the code, please check out this link that has been publicly released by Facebook. AI revolution is here and the AI advancements are truly scary. Can you imagine what AI could do in the next decade? The technology is progressing at a massive scale and it's everywhere. In face and speech recognition, natural language processors such as Siri and Alexa, self-driving cars, movie recommender systems such as Netflix, and even robotics applications. Now it's the best time to learn and master AI. Please subscribe to my channels for more videos and activate the bell for more videos. See you next week.